Hi, welcome to Land of Chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn the hydrolysis reaction of acetamide, that is, in presence of acid as well as in alkaline medium. Come on, let's learn the reaction. Hydrolysis of acetamide in presence of acid. CH3, C, double bond O, N, H2. This is acetamide. We are going to hydrolysis it in presence of dilute HCl that is dilute hydrochloric acid what happens the bond gets cleaved here okay the bond between the carbonyl carbon and nitrogen will get break and from this H2O OH will get attached to this aceto part and hydrogen to this NH2 part and here this HCl will get attached to this NH2 and we get CH3 C double bond O OH CH3 C double bond O OH that is acetic acid and here NH2 here 2 hydrogen so NH4 that is ammonium and chlorine ammonium chloride is formed let's write the name for these structures this is acetamide is hydrolyzed in presence of dilute hydrochloric acid we get acetic acid and ammonium chloride come on let's summarize the reaction when acetamide is hydrolyzed in the presence of dilute hydrochloric acid the bond get cleaved as i shown and the oh group from the water molecule will get attached to this aceto part and it forms acetic acid and the hydrogen from water will get attached to this nh2 and HCl will get attached to this NH2 and forms ammonium chloride. Now, hydrolysis of acetamide in the presence of alkaline solution. CH3, C double bond O, NH2. This is acetamide. We are going to hydrolysis in presence of dilute sodium hydroxide, NaOH. What happens? The bond get cleaved here between the carbonyl carbon and nitrogen from the sodium hydroxide the hydrogen will get attached to this NH part and it leave as ammonia that is NH3 the remaining this NaO will get attached to this aceto part and we get sodium acetate as the product CH3 C double bond O O N A let's write the name for these structures this is acetamide reacts with sodium hydroxide it forms sodium acetate and ammonia come on let's summarize the reaction when acetamide reacts with dilute base that is sodium hydroxide the bond get cleaved in between the carbonyl carbon and nitrogen the ONA part from sodium hydroxide will get attached to this aceto part and we get sodium acetate and the hydrogen will get attached to this NH2 and we get ammonia as the chloride. Thank you.